Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief and weather forecast. The Virtual Caribbean Transitional Energy Conference, or CTEC, happened today, November 19th, and His Excellency the Governor, Mr. Martin Roper, and of the Honorable Joseph Hugh, Minister of Commerce, Planning, and Infrastructure, joined about 20 other speakers from the Cayman Islands and around the world. Our policy sets the vision to enhance and embrace a sustainable lifestyle through responsible and innovative energy supply and consumption. One of the key targets is that 70% of the electricity generated on our islands should be derived from renewable sources by the year 2037. Finally, the policy is technology neutral, so it provides the flexibility that allows our islands to adapt to the dynamic energy landscape, which is becoming more and more technocentric. Those businesses and individuals interested in how clean energy can boost the economy of the Cayman Islands and create economic sustainability post-COVID were able to join a number of presentations and panel discussions on the topic throughout the day. Organized by the Cayman Renewable Energy Association, attendees gained in-depth insight into the best of local, regional, and international clean energy experience and expertise, all while learning about the Cayman Energy Roadmap. Mr. James Whitaker, president of the Cayman Renewable Energy Association and organizer of CTEC 2020 said, with the insight and experience of the Caribbean, Caribbean's leaders in clean energy, all in one place, the hope is that the event will stimulate investment, innovation, and development. Meantime, many topics surrounding energy were discussed, including building a green economy in a post-COVID world. Well, for those persons who are traveling between the UK and the Cayman Islands on repatriation flights, the Ministry of Tourism on Wednesday announced that more British Airways repatriation flights have been authorized during the months of December 2020 and January 2021. Six flights are confirmed and travelers should contact British Airways, they say, or visit the BA website to make reservations for December 3rd, the 8th or the 15th, and January 5th, 14th or 28th. Now, the new BA repatriation flights have been uploaded to the Travel Cayman online portal, allowing inbound travelers to apply and to request their type of quarantine location. For more details on the process, you can go online to the homepage of the gov.ky website. Moving now to today's weather, the high temperature reached 89 degrees, the low 78. The forecast calls for partly cloudy to cloudy skies with a 40% chance of showers and possible thunder. Winds are from the east to northeast, 20 to 25 knots with higher gusts. Seas are rough with wave heights of 7 to 9 feet. A, a marine warning remains in effect for those who want to go on the high seas. Now the synopsis calls for strong east to north easterly winds and rough seas which are expected across the Cayman area today as a high pressure system builds over the southeast U.S. Isolated showers are also expected today as a stationary front is expected to linger across western Cuba. Remember, for the latest in weather, you can go online to weather.gov.ky or simply download their app, C-I-N-W-S. That ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and, of course, a wonderful night. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m.